Good day, grade 11 student. Our topic for today is inverse of one-to-one -one function. This video lesson helps you understand the inverse function. Particularly, this will provide you guide on how to find the inverse of a one-to-one -one function. Enjoy as you immerse yourself in solving for the inverse function intuitively or using a set of more established steps. Learning competency for today's lesson, the learner is able to determine the inverse of a one-to-one -one function. So what you need to know, after this lesson, you are expected to determine the inverse of a one-to-one -one function. To start our lesson, we have table of values here. For x, we have 0, 1, 2, 3. For function of x, we have 2, 3, 4, 5, which is one-to-one -one function. Let's interchange the value of x and function of x. So we have for x, 2, 3, 4, 5. And for function of x, we have 0, 1, 2, 3. It's still a 1 to 1 function. Next, we have example of mapping and arrow diagram. The domain of function of x is the range of f raised to negative 1. And the range of function of x is the domain of f raised to negative x, which means the domain and range interchange, which is an inverse function. f of x is the inverse function of x. What is an inverse of one-to-one -one function? The inverse of a function is a function with domain b and range a. Given that, the original function has domain A and range B. So let F be one-to-one -one function with domain A and range B. Then the inverse of F denoted, denoted by F raised to negative 1 is a function with domain B and range A defined by the inverse function of Y is equal to X. If and only if function of X is equal to Y or any Y in B. Note that a function has inverse if and if it is one-to-one -one function. How to find the inverse of a one-to-one -one function? Number one, write the function in the form of y is equal to f of x. Number two, interchange x and y variables. Number three, solve for y in terms of x. The resulting equation is f raised to negative 1 of x or the inverse function of x. Number 1 example. Find the inverse of f of x is equal to 3x minus 8. First step. Change function of x into y. So that is y is equal to 3x minus 8. Second step. Interchange x and y variables. So that is x is equal to 3y minus 8. Third step, solve for y in terms of x. So we have x plus 8 is equal to 3y. Or 3y is equal to x plus 8. Divide both sides by 3. So we have now y is equal to x plus 8 over 3. So the inverse function of x is equal to x plus 8 over 3. Check whether function of x is equal to 3x minus 8 and inverse function of x is equal to x plus 8 over 3 are inverses. Suppose x is equal to 1 in function of x. So function of 1 is equal to 8x plus 5 which is 8 times 1 plus 5 is equal to 13. So if x is equal to 13 in inverse function of x, we have inverse function of x or inverse function of 13 is equal to x plus 8 over 3, which is equal to 13 minus 5 is equal to 8 divided by 8 is equal to 1. The domain of f is the range of f raised to negative 1. And the range of f is the domain of f raised to negative 1. Hence, the two functions are inverses of each other. Example number two, find the inverse of function of x is equal to 8x plus 5. First step, change function of x into y. 
which is y is equal to 8x plus 5. Next, interchange x and y variables. So that is x is equal to 8y plus 5. Then solve for y in terms of x. So we have x minus 5 is equal to 8y or 8y is equal to x minus 5. Dividing both sides by 8, so we have now y is equal to x minus 5 over 8. So the inverse function of x is equal to x minus 5 over 8. Check whether function of x is equal to 8x plus 5 and the inverse function of x is equal to x minus 5 over 8 are inverses. Suppose x is equal to 3 in function of x. Function of 3 is equal to 8x plus 5, which is 8 times 3 plus 5 is equal to 29. So, if x is equal to 29 in inverse function of x, we have inverse function of 29 is equal to 21 minus 5 over 8 is equal to 24 over 8, which is also equal to 3. So, the domain of f is equal to the range of inverse function and the range of f is the domain of the inverse function hence the two functions are inverses of each other number three example find the inverse of a rational function h of x is equal to 4x plus 8 over x minus 3 solution we have change h of x to y so we have y is equal to 4x plus 8 over x minus 3 interchange x and y so we have x is equal to 4y plus 8 over y minus 3 so for y using the multiplication property of equation so we have xy minus 3x is equal to 4y plus 8 Combine like terms using the addition property of equation, so we have xy minus 4y is equal to 3x plus 8. Solve for y using factoring, so we have y times the quantity of x minus 4 is equal to 3x plus 8. Dividing both sides by x minus 4, so we have y is equal to 3x plus 8 over x minus 4. So therefore, the inverse function of x is equal to 3x plus 8 over x minus 4. Example number 4. Find the inverse of rational function g of x is equal to x squared minus 6x minus 7. Change g of x to y so we have y is equal to x squared minus 6x minus 7. Interchange x and y so we have x is equal to y squared minus 6y minus 7. Combine like terms, so we have y squared minus 6y is equal to x plus 7. Then complete the square by adding both sides by 9. So we have y squared minus 6y plus 9 is equal to x plus 7 plus 9. So we have now y minus 3 is equal to x plus 16. Then squared both sides or getting the square root, we have now y minus 3 is equal to positive and negative the square root of x plus 16. So we have now y is equal to plus and minus the square root of x plus 16 plus 3. Notice that for some values of x, there are two values of y. For instance, if x is equal to 1, y is equal to square root of 17 plus 3. And y is equal to minus or negative square root of 17 plus 3. Therefore, the inverse function of g of x does not exist. Inverse function. Remember that g of x is a quadratic function whose graph is a parabola opening upward. It fills the horizontal line test because it has x values which correspond to the same y value. And since it is not a one-to-one -one function, then its inverse is not a function. Okay, for your activity and assessment, you're going to answer exercises 
number one and two. For exercise number one, state if the given function are inverse, which is equivalent to two points each. For exercise number two, we're going to find the inverse of each function, which is equivalent to four points each. From number one to ten, you're going to choose five problems only. And that's all for today. I hope you learn how to find the inverse of one-to-one -one function. Again, this is Teacher Riza. Till our next video lesson again. Bye!